Okay, so a new update has come out for Warhammer 3, and this brings up a good point, and that is how do I update my mod? Now, first of all, a matter of how do I know whether my mod needs to be up to date or not, updated or not? Well, right now, because we don't have an assembly kit for Warhammer 3, a lot of your mods may not need to be updated when a major update comes out. The way to tell is, first of all, try out your mod, see if it still works fine. Um, the other thing is to read the patch notes and see whether there were any changes. Um, so for me, uh, there's one change that I saw to Zarguards. And so because there were some changes to Zarguards and an added uh, regiment of renown for Zarguards, I know that I'm going to have to update my Zarguard mod. Um, that is something I'm not going to necessarily show the update to that, but I'll show you how to update mods. And I'll also show you one of the other mods that I think probably could use an update. All the other ones are working fine. I've gone through and tested them. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Now, I was out of town when this update came out, so one of the other ways that you'll know you need to update your mod is, one, if there was a major update released, it will then show that the mod is outdated. However, that's if somebody else's mod is not has not been updated since the update. It will show outdated on anybody using your mod, and they'll often tell you, hey, update, please. Now, the reality is there are many mods out there that never need to be updated, and they will work just fine forever. So that's something to be aware of. Um, like I said, just because it's outdated doesn't mean it's not going to work, but you should really update your mods. Um, now, as mentioned, I've gone through and double-checked that my Keyslive Stalkers, Kostalton reskin, and my Scrag reskin are all working just fine. So let's show how we're going to update that. Now, anytime I make a mod, I move it from my data folder into my a folder on my desktop here, my mods Warhammer 3. That way I have that one there. Um, and also so that I get it out of the data folder, which will cause issues if you have it in the data folder and you're trying to do multiplayer with somebody else using the same mod, it will say that you guys have incompatible versions. So you should remove it from your data folder and just keep it somewhere safe. So Keyslip Stalkers through Scrag Reskin, I'm gonna go ahead and copy those. And I am going to put them into my data folder. And again, that is wherever your data is. So in mine, it's solid state drive, Steam apps, um, and common and Warhammer 3 data, et cetera. So I'm in my data, and I'm just going to paste these in here. And as mentioned, I know they're working, so they're good to go. So once they're in your data, what you need to do is go to your mod manager here. And it is really annoying that you can't tell that yours are outdated or not. It, it does suck, but it is what it is. And all you're going to do is you're going to click this little thing here update. So this will update and it will no longer show that it's outdated. I'm going to do the same thing for Kostalton and my Scrag reskin. Okay. Now, as mentioned, I need to do a bit of work for the Zarguards to, um, there were only like one change to stats, which would be an easy fix, but I also want to go through and do the same changes I did to my Zarguards with the Regiment of Renown. So that's going to take a little bit of time, and I want to save time on this video. So let's just talk about this one. Now, I'm not sure. For, I'm not 100% sure with those changes because they said they were balancing things and stuff like that, whether they changed the script. There's a decent chance that they did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and edit my script, basically recreate this mod. So what I want to do is I'm going to first pull it from my AI can't win. I'm going to paste it into my data. OK, so that's there. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the Scrag reskin stuff, all the things that I just updated. Now, because I made no changes, I'm not going to put them back in a Warhammer 3 folder. But if I made any changes before I deleted it from my data file, I'd move it back into here. So my latest up to date mod, mod is in my folder here. OK, anyway, so let's go ahead and open pack file. 
and we're going to go to data and I'm going to go to mass mustachio AI can't win. Now, as mentioned, I'm not sure if the script has changed. So this will still probably be working in the game like it, it wasn't causing stability issues, but I don't know if they made tweaks to this. And there's a good chance that in this script they made some tweaks. So because my mod is so easy, it's only two things here. I'm going to go ahead, and I know they didn't make any changes to this. If they did, then I could just um, re-import this one and make the changes I need, which was click faction leader only from here to here. That's all I did. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and I'm going to just do the mod again. Now, the only changes I made before to it, and this is why I'm okay doing it, I could copy the parts that I made, but since it's such an easy change, I'm just going to delete it entirely. So I'm going to add from pack file. I'm going to go to data. And I'm going to go to the scripts. So data. Now, oh, I should note as well while I'm at it, this one here, I could also double check that they haven't made changes to it. But as mentioned, they definitely didn't. Um, I actually already double checked it. But anyway, so let's go ahead and go to script, campaign, main chaos, um, realms, realm common double click on that and again the only change i made to the original was right here at 95 strength required for ai to complete the realm that's 200 000, 900 000. now they can't win so that's the only change i needed to make now because my script changes were so simple i just deleted the script and redid it um but if I made more substantial stuff, I'd probably copy my changes and, and stuff. OK. So now I'm going to go ahead and say save pack file manager, or save pack file, excuse me. So that is good to go. AI can't win. And I'm going to go ahead and update this. OK, it's up to date. Now what I'm going to do is go to my data, take those, and I'm going to drag them into my Warhammer 3, replace the files in the destination, and they're good to go. I would also double check that it worked, but I am certain that this one's a nice simple mod, so it definitely works. So as mentioned, I'm going to do the same process for Zargard, make the changes I need, make sure everything's working, and then I'm going to update it as well. And this will no longer show that they need to be updated. So as I mentioned, this is the only one and the czar guards, which I'll also do later, that needed to be changed. And I'm not even 100% sure if this one needed to, but just to be safe, I did it. Um, everything else, I could just re-upload and it got rid of the, you know, needing of an update. So anyway, hopefully that clears up how you update mods. And um, thanks for watching.